Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to teach you a little bit about color theory and how it works with the color wheel. So we're going to start with making our colors for creating a color wheel. And to do that we need to start with the primary colors, the most basic of all the colors, which would be red, yellow, and blue. And the primary colors can't be made from any other colors, and that's why we call them primary, because it means first. So the first colors, they're number one in our book. And all the other colors are made from a mixture of these primary colors. So any other color on the color wheel, we need these to make them. But we can also expand upon it by adding neutral colors, like black and white. Now secondary colors would be orange, green, and violet. And we say violet and not purple because in color theory, violet's the correct term when we're talking about the spectrum of color. So it's Roy G. Biv, not Roy G. Bip. And we create the secondary colors by mixing two primary colors. So think about math right now. Primary equals one, so one plus one equals two and they're always located between the secondary colors, two primaries on the color wheel. So, if we look, say, at red and yellow, what would be directly in between it is what makes when you mix red and yellow. It's orange. What happens when you mix yellow and blue? You get green. And then right in between red and blue is violet. So our secondary colors are always made by the two colors on either side of it. Next up we have our tertiary colors. And tertiary colors are also known as intermediate colors, but I like to say tertiary because it lines up with the number three. So primary is one, secondary is two, tertiary is three. And these don't really have any fancy names. There's red-orange, yellow-orange, yellow-green, blue-green, blue violet and red violet. And how do we make them, you might ask? Well, it's math. One plus two equals what? Three. So we need to mix a primary with its adjacent or next to secondary. So the secondary right next to the primary, we'll mix them together to create our tertiary color. And when we name them, the primary always goes first because primary is number one. So primary first, then the secondary, and we use a dash in between the two names, just like we have up here. So how might we make them? Well, if we add red plus orange, again, the names aren't very inventive, we get red-orange. Orange plus yellow, remember the primary always goes first when we label it, so we get yellow-orange. Yellow plus green gives us yellow-green. Green plus blue gives us blue-green. Blue plus violet equals blue-violet. Violet plus red equals red-violet. So the tertiary colors are always right in between the primary and the secondary color. And that's how we end up creating them. So that's a quick rundown of all the colors on the color wheel. Now we're going to talk about color harmonies. And color harmonies are groups of certain colors that are aesthetically pleasing, things that look really nice to the eye and we enjoy them together. So first we'll talk about warm colors and cool colors. So just like hot and cold, it's another word for color temperature. So think about this. When things are hot, what sorts of colors are they? They're usually reds and oranges and yellows, right? When things are cool and refreshing, we often think of like cool blue water or, you know, nice grass, sort of shaded trees. So those would generally be cool colors. Um, when we look at the color wheel, warm and cool colors end up dividing the color wheel in half. And so there are six warm colors and six cool colors, and we divide it in half in between yellow and violet over here. So our warm colors are red, violet, red, red, orange, orange, yellow, orange, and yellow. 
And then our cool colors are yellow, green, green, blue, green, blue, blue, violet, and violet. So just always think to yourself, like imagine things that are hot tend to be in this spectrum of colors. Things that are cool tend to be in this spectrum of colors. So just think about temperature when we talk about that. Our next color scheme is monochromatic. And to understand monochromatic, there's a whole bunch of terminology to go in with it, but it's a relatively simple color scheme. So first we need to talk about a hue, and a hue is a pure color. So that would be any of those colors from the color wheel that we have. It's not mixed with black, white, or gray. So it's pure, it's straight from the primaries. A tint is a hue mixed with white. So a lot of times people think when you hear the word tint, you think like tinted windows and that's dark. But in art, when we talk about tints, we talk about colors that are lighter. So a hue mixed with white tends to get a lot lighter. Conversely, a shade is a hue mixed with black. So obviously our color is going to get darker when we add black to it. Then when we talk about monochromatic, we want to break the word down into its parts, and that helps us understand it. So mono means one, and chroma means color. So one color, and that leads us to the definition of monochromatic, which is a color scheme that uses one hue, so one pure color, with tints and shades of that hue. So basically, if we break it down, we just have a pure color, one color, plus black and white. So it's a variation of that single color getting lighter and darker. And that is monochromatic. So as you can see, there's all these little brackets. The brackets on this picture are all the pure colors. And from each of the pure colors, we slowly add white to go up and we slowly add black to get darker. So white makes it lighter, black makes it darker. Our next color scheme is analogous. And analogous colors are three to four colors that are next to one another on the color wheel. So any colors that are really similar are going to be next to each other. So analogous would be just kind of a small range of colors with just a little bit of variation. So we might have red, violet, red, red, orange, or we might do yellow, yellow, green, and green. So just any colors that are close to one another in hue. And then our last color scheme that we're going to talk about is complementary colors. So complementary colors are colors that are opposite one another on the color wheel. So those colors, you know, aren't next to each other, so they're going to be very different. That's why they're opposites. And we would say red and green are one, blue and orange, and yellow and violet. One way you could remember it is Christmas, Denver Broncos, Minnesota Vikings. If you're into football, that might um, and when we mix complementary colors together, they tend to make the colors less intense. So when we look at these color schemes here, if we want to tone down yellow a little bit, we might add just a drop of violet to it. Or maybe if we want to make our green a little darker and more hunter green, we'll add some red to it. Same with this way, if we start at red and we want to make it a little bit more maroon, we'd add some green to it. But a 50-50 mix of complementary colors, so half red, half green, would give us something called a neutral. So it's going to be kind of a brownish gray color, usually. Um, but yep, yeah, so complementary colors are opposites, and they work really well when we need to neutralize our colors or tone them down. And that's all I have for you about color schemes. Thanks for watching.